Installing an AccuDraw 50 unit in a Wicked Ridge quick install style stock. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to mount an AccuDraw 50 unit in a Wicked Ridge quick install style stock. You will need the following items from the retrofit kit to complete the AccuDraw 50 unit installation. A. An AccuDraw 50 unit with attached mounting plate. B. Two grip handles with attached draw cords. C. Two draw cord hooks. D. Six 832 by 1 quarter inch button head cap screws. In addition, you will or may need the following items. A. A 332nd inch Allen wrench. B. Two number 8 common nails. C. A Wicked Ridge quick install stock plate with two additional 832 by 1 quarter inch button head cap screws. You may need to contact customer service at www.10pointcrossbows.com or call 330-628-9245 and choose option 2 for the quick install stock plate and screws. If you need to install the stock plate, insert it into the left side of the stock then secure it with two 832 by 1 quarter inch button head cap screws inserted into the right side of the stock. To insert the AccuDraw 50 unit into the stock, angle the unit toward the front of the crossbow and seat it into the right side of the stock plate. Secure the AccuDraw 50 unit by inserting two 832 by 1 quarter inch button head cap screws through the holes in the left side of the stock plate. Next, wind the retraction spring clockwise until tight, making sure the countersunk holes in the axle are facing toward the rear of the unit. When tight, partially insert a number 8 common nail from right to left through the empty holes at the top front of the unit. Then. Insert another number 8 common nail into the non-countersunk hole in the axle and let it come to rest under the other nail. Position a draw cord hook opening facing up on the left side of the crossbow. Then insert the unknotted end of a draw cord through the draw cord hook's brass pulley from left to right. Next, thread the cord through the non-countersunk hole in the left side of the axle. Tie a knot at the end of the cord and pull the knotted end tightly into the countersunk hole. Extend the cord and attach the left hook, opening facing up, to the bowstring. Turn the black spool clockwise just enough to remove both nails from the right side of the unit. Let the axle turn backwards slowly, making sure the left hook stays attached to the bowstring. Then, position the other draw cord hook, opening facing up, on the right side of the crossbow. Insert the unknotted end of the other draw cord through the draw cord hook's brass pulley from right to left. Next, thread the cord through the non-countersunk hole in the right side of the axle. Tie a knot at the end of the cord and pull the knotted end tightly into the countersunk hole.
Count the number of cord wraps on the left spool and wrap the right side cord clockwise the same amount of wraps. Now, attach the right draw cord hook to the bow string and check to make sure both draw cords are the same length. If they are not, make minor adjustments to a knot in one of the draw cord handles. Then, replace the hooks on the bow string. Place the right side cover on the unit and insert two 832 by 1 quarter inch button head cap screws. Tighten just until the screws are snug. Do not over tighten. Then, repeat the cover installation steps for the left side. Remove the hooks from the bowstring and let the retraction spring draw the hooks inside the covers. They will fit perfectly inside the covers if you turn their open ends outward and only put the brass part of the pulley into the cover. Note: If you always keep your thumbs positioned on the white warning on each handle when bringing them back, the magnets inside the handles will be oriented correctly and attract each other, securing them to the stock. For more information, please contact our customer service department at 330-628-9245 and choose option 2.